Hello, and welcome to Kathy D. Slatt's SRC for You Zoom call for March 2nd, 2021. To access the Zoom call, we're going to scroll down and look for this banner right here, and it's going to say click here, and remember this passcode. We're going to allow. And then we're going to type in the passcode to join the meeting. And we'll wait for our host. It should be with us momentarily. I want to show you, um, I've been working with these intentions too. And I want to show you some things going on uh, with this last blog post on the energy visionaries. And I don't know that many look at this. Well, I got a lot I want to show you. The post on the energy visionaries, I started with the uh, some intention statements to counteract the uh, article on the 10 stages of genocide. And what happens is if we can go from fear to love because fear totally shatters our own shield of protection. And so uh, the idea, and this is the first intention statement which I'm gonna read to you. And if you get a chance to go to that site and, and run it, uh, what I'm doing is dowsing it in to see how we resonate with it and then going forward to see if there are any pro tools that will help or the shin or the charger. And, you know, what it makes me think of is the, uh, you know, people say, oh, you can't really make any difference this way. And uh, first of all, we know we can because everything is energy, but it makes me think of that little boy uh, in Sunday school, the old joke about he was drawn and the Sunday school teacher said, what are you drawing? He said, I'm drawing a picture of God. And he, she says, honey, nobody knows what God looks like. And she says, he says, they will when I'm finished. So <laughs> I, I just thought it was so precious. Good one. Yeah. 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 And um, so with that in mind, this is our first statement. It is on the blog. If you and, and tweet, by all means, tweet. Uh, but it's what's interesting is we're going to go forward with a couple of new cocktails, too, and you'll find those in the BSA. One is already there. Uh, but this first one, um, the idea with the first stage was to, uh, first of all, divide us, and that's been a constant theme. If you look at any of your media or anything else, a constant theme is to divide us, and the first step seemed to be to divide us from any type of alternative health or self-healing capability. So um, what I wrote is, I am so happy every day my love for my fellow man grows deeper and stronger, but again, the key is unconditional love. I am so grateful to see clearly that the people of planet Earth are one and that together we have transformed the world to a state of joy and abundance. My body's self-healing ability is fully activated, so I am now free of all limiting patterns related to physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. I am so blessed to express the freedoms that allow me to choose the reality I joyfully create so I can serve God and my fellow man in the highest and best way. Now, you can copy that right off the blog if you so desire. Let me see if I can store here. Hold on a second. And then go with God. I wish you guys could see exactly, but it's not meant to be apparently. And if you douse it in, we're just going to check right now and see how we as a group resonate with that. And I'm doing it for myself as well, myself. And then you can do People of America because that, that's a situation you're a part of. At this moment in time, we as a group resonate 33% with that. So what I've been doing is amping it up if we resonate under 70. And if you if you write your own intentions, um, and, and I, we have three people in the group that I've written an intention for um, money, because that was their priority. And uh, I'll put that on the blog in the next post, their intention. I run that for them every morning. You want to do it. First thing when you're still in theta is what I've read. Um, so let's add that. But now let's go in and see if the shin is enough to amp it up. Hey, 
Hey, Kathy. Uh, yeah. I, I run mine at night thinking that um, in the sleep state it would be beneficial. Do you think you, yeah, so you I think, think that would, yeah. I you do think that morning. would be better in the What's morning? The, I think either or. In fact, actually, both would be wonderful. They're actually, what I've read is we should do it first thing and last thing if we can. Got it. And we had, from that statement, an 86% benefit of running it in the shin. So we've amped it up now by also adding it in the shin. Now, the second stage is that they they're going to do a little bit more dividing because, again, that has to be a priority because our power together, if we just even love one another, is so immense. I believe we could wipe out war, disease, etc. And uh, so the second step, I, I tied into the mask stuff, which now has gotten out of hand, in my opinion. And nobody is looking at the actual research. And so uh, what's happening here is that the statement is, I embrace, I embrace life to the fullest, cherishing how healthy I am and how great I look and feel. I and all loved ones are surrounded by an impenetrable shield of unconditional love that protects us from any and all frequencies of disease. This frees me to harness my creative power and fulfill my deepest abilities. It's also love, gratitude, and how you're going to serve once your intention is fulfilled or while it's being fulfilled. And I have a real good friend uh, with, with a serious disease that for the last five days, she has just been filling herself with gratitude for where she is right now and the fact that she is healing. And she feels so much better. She's not the type to even get into this type of thing, but it's definitely a positive experience. So the gratitude is huge. And I was saying to somebody the other day, even with some of the things we see going on in the country, we still should be grateful. We still have a, you know, we're better off than anybody else in the world, in my own opinion. So if we douse this in, let's just see where we resonate with this one. Now, up to this point, which is interesting, uh, I've seen that we pretty well resonate with this one, but let's see where we are right now. Out of 31, so we could still amp that up a little bit today. But I personally think the power would be tremendous if even a handful of us did this on a regular basis. And what this has become is a, a mass hysteria over this flu. And let's see if the shin. The shin's not going to do it. Let's see if the charger is going to do it. I mean, this will. This will be subtle and go up and down. Okay, yeah, so it's going to need a pro tool. I'm going to go in here. I'm not calling these genocide prevention statements, so I'm going to go in here. To the Pro Tool selector, it's a little easier, and I'm just going to put a uh, need for reinforcement inside prevention statement. To we'll end up with, I believe it's 10 of these statements. And we'll come back, but anyway, while doing this. Some of you may be aware, I, would, I didn't follow this all that much, but the comparison of the uh, Solomon's Temple in the Bible to the brain. Uh, were any of you aware of that? No. Oh, okay, I didn't know my speaking into the ethers. Um, yeah, uh, I was reading that scholars now have said that the... Um, 
uh, details of the construction of Solomon's temple, that's actually our brain that they're talking about. So I made a real quick little cocktail and I call it Solomon's Temple. I sent it to Joanna, so it's in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that. I'm going to go through the find options instead of just loading it. And as a group, let's see any particular areas of stress with our own temple. Um, I'm just look. Oh, okay. So you might want to make a note of the fornix, F-O-R-N-I-X. That's a zero. And then the Pacamus, that's a zero. And um, the central cortex is 329. So I'm just going to put get the done, and that'll go in. So then if that's, you know, you look at this information. I've been doing this, now this cocktail, for several days with people. And I see the stress of the brain. So um, synchronicity-wise, I got an email on some habits that a person could uh, incorporate into their lifestyle to maybe improve some of the blood flow to the brain. And I'm just going to share that with you, uh, just the highlights, and then we have a new cocktail for that. But these are some tips on how to improve the blood flow. And it's all, he says, uh, you know, exercise is supposed to be a great one, but we're not going to do it. Most of us, we don't have time or we don't have the ability. So here are some tips that take just a few minutes, if even that much each day. Uh, one was to lie on your back and hang your head on your shoulder, your head and shoulders off the bed for up to two minutes. Another, and this, this was um, the point to invert the body daily, and that's one easy way. And, and the reason for that is we're so hunched over the computers, and that's damaging us. Uh, the next tip was uh, leave your remote control and phone next to the TV. So you actually have to get up. <laughs> and then another is when you're buying some of these things like Alexa, measure the uh, effect on your health. Alexa, you know, keeping you from getting up to do this or that. Again, it's all the little things. Now, this was kind of a weird one. Do extra squats whenever you go to the bathroom. So you think whatever. using the, using the um, e-body uh, would bring benefit, more benefit? You know, I'm going to test that. I haven't done as much with the e-body. Let's just see. Let's see how much of a benefit. Of course, this is subtle. But let's see where we are at this moment in time. Well, it's about a 50, so yeah, I, I'm certainly not going to hurt. But it's, it's like the SRC. We're working with our SRC, but if we're, you know, living on chips and fast food, it's going to, or even our thoughts. If our thoughts are, are low, lower vibratory or we're gossiping a lot, et cetera, it's not going to be as beneficial. But yeah, the e-body actually at 50, that's, that's respectable. So thanks for that. Now, the um, in fact, let's just for fun, well, I'll do this in a minute. Let me get off this page first. Another thing he suggested is to balance on one leg when brushing your teeth in the morning and the other leg in the evening. Uh, he says, don't use um, apps on your phone. Go to your computer and do the stuff that way. We're spending way too much time on our phone. A lot of this we already know. Uh, and then he says, that every 20 minutes when you're on the computer, like I am on the computer almost all day, Every 20 minutes, look away for 20 seconds at an object 20 feet away because we're working to relieve stress on the eyes. Uh, he mentions putting the phone on airplane mode in another room before going to sleep or just turn it off in another room. Uh, then, then, and this was brought up the other day, most of us, our brains are severely dehydrated. So we're going to have information on that. Uh, he mentions no sugar in the tea or coffee. And that's all about, we got to do something to end this explosion of diabetes. Um, talks about a moisturizer, but you got to be careful with the skin and the most moisturizer. Look at the label and make sure it doesn't say maybe carcinogenic in the sun, <laughs> which is ironic. And a lot of this stuff you guys already know, uh, 
eat more colored vegetables. Um, and then uh, this was kind of funny. It said, whenever you want to doom scroll, do a minute of deep breathing first. So I guess he's talking about things like Twitter or whatever, where, where uh, he sees such information. So from that, I'm going to load this up now. We have a new cocktail. And again, I'm, I'll see, I haven't gotten this one to Joanna yet, but I will right after this. And this is simply called uh, Blood Flow to Brain. Let me tell you what's in this cocktail. Um, first of all, good habits are part of my daily routine. So that was a code. Uh, blood flow to brain, we had a code. Um, so I need to clean that up actually a little because I repeated that. Uh, choose to do something with your time other than watch TV had a code. Balance, brain health, uh, correct posture, which a lot of us have damaged our posture by, uh, and that was one of the things they recommended. I should be doing it right now. And he said, when you're in a chair, make sure your butt is right at the back of the chair. Uh, discernment. We're getting a lot of false information, which actually leaves us in a state of constant outrage, which there's also a code for that. So we need some discernment. Uh, give brain time to uh, register fullness. This is in reference to our eating habits, especially desserts takes a while for the brain to figure out you had enough food. Vitamin D, still a big factor. Improve breathing capability. He actually, apparently we check our cell phone about 52 times a day. He suggested doing some deep breathing before each time you uh, check the cell phone and then end the explosion of diabetes. So again, let's search now and see where we as a group are. So far, we're looking real good. All right. Here is one where we're a little low. We're at 570. End constant outrage. And I don't know about anybody else, but I, right now I'm not looking at the political stuff. Um, end chronic dehydration. Another one that we are 652. So that's at this. This is all subtle, of course, but at this moment in time, a little stressed. So even if we just do those two things today, knowing that the um, the engine of the software is going to cover whatever is necessary to cover, let's look and see what we say about all this. And the hope is, as we have these codes, it may cause some, some blocks to clear to where we actually do some of this. We'll see. And I think I will go ahead and make, oops, I will go ahead and make a screencast of this as well the next time I do it so you get an idea. Yeah, and we just, as usual, want the good old wonder click. I'm going to go ahead and optimize first. I didn't do that yet. So our theme is actually our ears and hearing. So it could very well be there's information out there that's been blocked because we're so caught up with the stress of all this. Let's see, it's peeling away layers of resistance. And we're working on the body, so it's a physical issue. We've got some inflammation. 
root chakra stress, nervous. Let's just go in and see the level of stress related to nervous. Out of 14, that's respectable. We've got that under control. Organ, brain. So you see, that's interesting. With that focus, it is focused on the brain. Defensive action is denial, but the emotion is revived. Okay, another stress factor, which is interesting, and we'll probably do that tomorrow, is amino acids. And, and a lot of times, let's just go in here to the dispenser. And again, I'll show this, not tomorrow, I guess I'll, we'll be back on Thursday. Um, but you can go in here, I think you all may be aware of this, and make with the dispenser a special cocktail for just an area. And so I'm going to make a special cocktail for amino acids. Let's see what we've got. You can do this a lot with the essential oils as well. Do you all do that by any chance? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's quite amazing. I do this often in the evening for us, and it's often we need hours and hours and hours. So we're asking for um, L-glutamic acid, tryptophan, uh, something I can't pronounce, C-O-E-U-R, and this is to stimulate the heart rhythm. Uh, we are asking for uh, carnosine and also um, the basic P-Y-G-E-U-M herbal. And so um, and we're asking for 15 minutes with 35 repeats. So you can always go in and make a cocktail when you get this kind of information. Words to ponder, profanity is the adjective of the feeble-minded. Uh, substitution. And for the resistance and confliction, they actually have non-applicable. So um, it's going to cover a lot. Let's just go in here and see if we want any pro tools for the brain. No, we don't. That's just a nine. So let's go in here and see what the Nagon and Shin say. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm doing the Solomon thing, and now I'll do this habits thing for myself on a regular basis, and we'll have it in our scan, in the in the cocktail scan, so that if the group needs it, we can do it. But I think probably more than anything, all this digital stuff we're doing with TV, our cell phones, that kind of thing has really stressed our brains beyond what we realize. Then there's our food, et cetera, et cetera. So for the Nagong, this is very interesting. We're doing curse clearing. And then for the Shin, we've already got our um, intention statements in because we resonated highly with that first intention being in the Shin. Let's just see. We also ask for remove all imposed restriction and attract friends. So I'm sorry that you could not see this screen, but the information is all on the, the blog. And I have more information as well on the, the Kathy D. Slack. There's a new post. And, and what brought a lot of this about is that uh, I can only go for myself. My habits related to the SRC are pretty good, but other than that, they aren't that hot. And so it's about why is that we know what to do, but we just don't do it. So that's what that one's about. And with the next post on that one, I'll, I'll give an example of a financial intention statement for those interested in that. That's Great. it. That sounds good, Kathy. Good luck. Thanks for today. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.